Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will do a comparison of a couple of image background removers in Python. I will be using Google Colab to run my Python code, but you can open up your favorite Python IDE. So let's begin with installing the background removing libraries. The first one is the transparent background library and the second one is the rembg or remove background library i have already installed them so i can move on to the next part that is importing some of the important modules and these will be used to load the image and display the image next we have a function called display image grid so I have created this function to display the images in the form of a grid so that we can compare the output of these two techniques. Next I will be loading some input images and then I will try to remove the background from these images. So let's load the images and, and let me display all these input images as well. So these are the images and we will try to remove their backgrounds. In the first image we have a biker, in the second image we have a tennis player and in the third image uh, we have a robot or cyborg in the middle of a market. So let's use the first library that is transparent background. So we can create an object like this for removing the background and then we can simply use the process function to remove the background from the images. I'm not using any GPU in Google Colab but if you use GPU this will be much faster. Let's run this cell. So like I said, I'm using CPU only right now. So this can take a few minutes, maybe two or three minutes. All right, so background removal is done. Now let me show you the images without backgrounds. Okay, so it looks pretty neat, right? And if you look at this particular first image, even through the tires, uh, it has removed the background. And through this gap of this tennis racket, you can see that it is white. Earlier it was, yeah. So it has removed background from um, these tiny spaces as well. So I guess it has done a pretty good job and it took around 4 minutes. Now let's try out the second approach that is using this uh, library. This is going to be much faster even on CPU. If you are running it for the first time, it may take some time to load the model. But once the model is loaded, you can use it number of times and it will be much quicker. There you go, the model is loaded and it is removing the background from the input images. So it took only 16 seconds as compared to 4 minutes. By the previous library. Now let's look at the results. So we will use the same function to display the images in a grid format. Okay, so these are the output. Uh, here we can see that uh, it hasn't been able to completely remove the background from in all the three images. In the first image you can see in the rear wheel it hasn't been able to remove the background pixels. 
whereas in the previous image or the previous model's output, uh, it was pretty clean. Similarly, uh, in the second image, region between the head of the player and the racket, so it is also not completely removed. So I guess the previous approach uh, did a pretty good job in removing the backgrounds, but yes, that took longer. Now let me show you the results of both of these libraries side by side. So we can use the same function and you can put all the output images like this in a list. Okay, and you can also add titles for these images. So that will appear the output. And you can specify the columns, how many columns you want in the grid. Let's run it. I will share this notebook in the description. So here you can see the left side column is for the transparent background library and the right side column is for the remove background library output. So you can clearly see the difference in terms of quality. Right. So I guess if I have to remove background from images and I want sharp results, I would go with transparent background library. And if I have, let's say, hundreds of images or thousands of images from which I have to remove the background, then I might go with remove background library because it is quicker. It depends on your requirement. And I hope. Uh, this video was informational for you and feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.